Uh, welcome to a new video. You requested it and here it is, uh, the Nova 9 against the OnePlus Nord 2 camera comparison. So let's get started. So this might be a very interesting comparison because both of those have yeah, almost the same kind of camera specification both feature a main sensor with 50 megapixel and large sensor but the Nova 9 has an Huawei B sensor and uh, the OnePlus uh, Nord 2 doesn't both have an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle and 2 megapixel macro lens and the Nova 9 has a 2 megapixel depth sensor as well so here you can see all the specs of those two devices and we start off with some video samples. We start off with the Nova 9's main sensor, 50 megapixel RYYB, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and this is stabilization. These are the colors that you can expect. You can switch theoretically to the ultra wide angle, but not at 1080p, 60 frames per second, though both the 4K, 30 frames per second, are supported on both cameras which is pretty nice and uh, you can switch then throughout the lenses if you want to which is a pretty cool damn awesome feature to demonstrate it to you this is now 4k 30 frames per second so you should see a difference in frame rate a little bit with the main sensor and what i can do now is just zoom out to the ultra wide angle and you see a little flash and here's the ultra wide angle 4k 30 frames per second it's only made megapixels, so probably it's yeah, taking a 6 megapixel video and then upscaling it to 8 megapixels. Uh, otherwise, the stabilization would not work as good as it is working here. Though it is an ultra wide angle, so maybe they have like 7 megapixels they're using for video and then upscaling to 8. Anyway, it's working, which is quite nice and it's very good for vlogging, especially in this uh, yeah, good sunny environment. What do you think about the stabilization quality and colors? So now recording with the OnePlus Nord 2 and its main 50 megapixel sensor 1080p 60 frames per second and as on the Nova 9 you cannot switch to the ultra wide angle because the ultra wide angle doesn't support 60 frames per second but the ultra wide angle also doesn't support 4K at all it's just an 8 megapixel sensor so understandable so only Huawei with its Nova 9 is doing some magic here Anyway, this is uh, the um, 1080p 60 frames per second. What do you think about stabilization? Let's try out 1080p 30 frames per second, the maximum that the ultra wide angle can do. This is now the ultra wide angle on the OnePlus Nord 2 and 1080p 30 frames per second. It's a little bit of a bummer that it cannot do 60 frames per second or 4K 30 frames per second, which would be also very cool even though it would be upscaling from 6 megapixels or 7 megapixels for the stabilization how is stabilization by the way how are the colors here right now and what do you think about this in comparison to the nova 9 the oneplus Nord 2 also has an ai highlight feature for video which is quite interesting but it switches to 1080p 30 frames per per second for this what i noticed in terms of video that the stabilization on the oneplus nord 2 is nowhere as good as on the nova 9 and i didn't find an ultra steady mode for some reason i thought they had this in the oneplus nord 1 but i don't see it here for the 2 so what do you think about this quality here of this video so and now 1080p on the oneplus uh, nord 2 30 frames per second in bokeh video mode yeah does it really work i'm not so sure um, i was not even aware that there's bokeh video mode available for the oneplus nord 2 but yeah this is now set to 30 percent because of the default i think it's too high 60 percent and it would see yeah, i do too much bokeh and it would look too unnatural so what do you think about this with uh roughly 30 percent set now here and now the background AI mode on the Nova 9, which also offers you a nice creamy background blur, though it is not configurable, just like on the P50 Pro, for example, which has an aperture mode for video. For Snapdragon processors on Huawei devices, sadly, this aperture mode for video is not available and only this AI background blur filter is available. How does this look like on the main lens here of the Nova 9? What I can do here, which is pretty interesting, having this filter on, 1080p30 of course, I can go into the ultra wide angle 
and this is the ultra wide angle now with the background blur filter on i'm not sure if it's doing its thing and how it looks like probably a little bit too artificial because usually the background blur stuff is boosting everything up a little bit too much but uh, yeah this is how this will look like would be cool if Huawei would allow us with this AI background blur filter to at least adjust the sensitivity just like OnePlus Nord 2 does because this helps a lot if you can adjust it a little bit down so the background blur is not as blurry as it uh, is by default. So what do you think about this one here? 1080p 30 frames per second. A dual video mode is also possible with the OnePlus Nord 2 and it's pretty windy here right now. I don't have my microphone attached and uh, yeah what can i do i think i can only zoom in if i want to up to five times digital zoom here but i cannot switch the lens or anything else here uh, this is dual video mode on the oneplus nord 2 and i have a vlog mode on the huawei nova 9 that we caught in the stretch format and where i can also adjust my position here on the screen if i want to and i can zoom in two times and uh, five times it looks a bit worse i think than the oneplus nord 2 but i can also go to the ultra wide angle which is also pretty cool and i have a button to switch the camera so there's an audio cutoff for two seconds and now i'm also seeing myself here and i can even go into different views if i want to li like this view here where i can see the rear and the rear zoomed in or front and rear which looks like this, which is also pretty decent and uh, useful. And I can also go to the ultra wide angle here. I want to show you a little bit more, or if I want to zoom in on something, I can do two times or five times zooming in. Not sure how fluid this is, but it offers you a little bit more flexibility. And uh, I can also switch the camera. And uh, now you can see, yeah, this view or back to me which is pretty nice and handy so the vlog mode on the nova 9 offers a little bit more in terms of functionality if you really need it or is it just a gimmick that's for you to decide now well, let's take a look at some of the photos of those two devices and let's take a look at how they are performing in terms of photos the nova 9 always on the left and the oneplus nord always on the right do you notice something in this shot? And no, I had to check it twice. It's not the same shot from the same device. It is a different shot and you can see it maybe here. That's a bit more of the wall that I took in in this shot. Uh, the Nova 9 and the OnePlus Nord in terms of high dynamic range, almost ex exactly the same. Where are the differences? You have to zoom in to see differences. Just like for example here, quite a little bit more orange to the red color and here a bit darker red which is actually what i saw with my eyes what you can also see dramatically different in between those shots is the oneplus nord 2 is so much more sharper than the nova 9 for some reason and one could say oh it is probably the lens look at this here but you can also see there's a lot of over sharpening going on a lot of over processing going on to sharpen everything up just like look at this street here look at the pavement here and just compare it with this one here it is over sharpened but you get more clarity just look at the smart car here you have definitely more clarity, more sharpening applied. It looks a bit nicer here to those objects that are closer by and more clarity you get with the OnePlus Nord 2 for sure. And you can also see this in the ultra wide angle shot. But did you notice something? Let's go back here. Look at the sky and the blue of the sky. And now when I switch to the ultra wide, look how much more blue it gets, like a different day. And just compare it here. With the Nova 9, I think it's almost the same blue, maybe a slightly bit less blue in the sky. So when it comes to the ultra wide angle, both are pretty good when it comes to this. But the Nova 9 suffers, of course, what I always tell you in all of my camera comparisons of colors. There's just, it looks like a shot in black and white where color has been painted on. And you can clearly see there's lots lots of more color in here just take a look at this 
in the background here it's supposed to be uh, blue here it is blue and here it is some kind of yeah yellowish kind of black and white and then take a look at the smart car again much more clarity here but again it is over sharpening and you can see it here in the background where it cannot over sharpen anymore and just compare it with the nova 9 it just looks sharper naturally more sharper on the nova 9 and a lot softer on the Nord 2 even though it tries to sharpen things up it cannot here so more natural photos you can definitely see with the Nova 9 on the ultra wide angle though colors are missing on the ultra wide angle just take a look at the car look at the colors here of the car look at the background and the colors there it's just simply boosted on the Nord 2 definitely but it's a lot nicer to look at from the color perspective if you zoom in pretty much on par as well but if you go to details again this sh over sharpening going on is not the only thing that the Nord 2 does I think it also offers a sharper lens in comparison to the Nova 9 this is why even though it is over sharpening some things it just looks sharper in general on the Nord 2 even if you crop into the main sensor as you can see here look at the background here there is slightly maybe more information on the Nova 9 here because this is just lost in translation of the uh, the, the OnePlus Nord itself but there's more clarity definitely on the OnePlus Nord so it's not only over sharpening it has something to do with natural sharpness of the lens as well and take a look at the edges here also sharper on the OnePlus Nord 2 and uh, yeah it looks more like an unprocessed image I have to see on the OnePlus Nord so zoom in shot never was something uh, the Nova 9 was good at this is the 10 times maximum zoom it's like horrific and this is the 5 times zoom I think I have a comparison here as well and where you can again see that there's more clarity there is more mm, natural sharpness but there's also heavy processing as you can see here and compare it with here but still more clarity on the OnePlus Nord 2 than on the Nova 9 when zooming in uh, otherwise when we take a look at the main shots here slight different kind of white balance a little bit more yellowish here a little bit less yellowish you can see it is sharper here directly not only over sharpening but just simply sharper lens on the OnePlus Nord 2 which is great when we take a look at the ultra wide angle and compare them we can see it's a lot wider on the OnePlus Nord 2 uh, which is very interesting as I think and uh, colors again are shifting dramatically when you can see the blue here on the sky and here it's a lot more punchier uh, when we take a look at the details however the same issue that we had before it is I think a slightly bit wider than the Nova 9 the lens you can see the Nova 9 retains more details more sharpness in the corners especially here this is the end of the lens here here we have already everything a little bit softer foreground looks okay the thing it was just missing is here is color again you can see here clearly the distinguish the two colors here it's a black and white uh, kind of thing it is sharpening going on on the OnePlus Nord 2 definitely uh, ultra wide angle sharper on the Nova 9 um, I like the Nova 9's shot better also from the color mm, this of the sky it's more consistent to the main lens however the rest of the colors are just completely missing here then zooming in zoom shots again sharper on the Nord 2 uh, against the blurry uh, Nova 9 and this is just simply zoom shot the Nord 2 wins against the Nova 9 when it comes to normal shots here with the normal angle lens and take a look at the bokeh here natural bokeh and take a look at the natural bokeh here you can also clearly see when we go into the corners here that we have a difference not only in colors but you can also maybe see this sharpening artifacts of processing that the Nord 2 does here so everything appears to be a little bit sharper because it has aggressive sharpening applied to uh, the device itself so um, it appears to be there is a sharper lens more clarity added on the OnePlus Nord 2 but it's also very harsh when it comes to over sharpening things and I will show you this in another second you can see also warmer colors on the Nord 2 uh, than on the Nova 9 here 
Then the macro shot, I thought the OnePlus Nord 2 has a macro cam, but I couldn't activate it for some reason. So I was just cropping into the main sensor here, two times zoom, against the macro sensor of the Nova 9. Um, the OnePlus Nord 2 just looks better and you can just go into 100%, you can see everything here. And the two megapixel macro shot here, first of all, the color is a little bit missing and the other thing is like the details is not, is not really there. So forget about the macro cam. And then selfies. Selfies look pretty similar. A high dynamic range, I think, could be even a little bit better on the Nord 2, but this could be also because I was like twisted a little bit more and the sun was going in here. From the skin color, who do you prefer more? I think I look more pinkish on the Nord 2. I look a little less pinkish on the Nova 9. A little bit more bright and up, a bit more red. I think more healthy <laughs> on the Nova 9. Um, when it comes to sharpness, just look at my eyes or my hair here and here definitely the nova 9 wins both feature probably the same sensor 32 megapixels and uh, when you take a look at the background here background blur it's a bit more busy on the nord 2 than on the nova 9 it's a bit more smooth there uh, both comparable not much of a difference there then i tried to do a macro shot with the two times zoom on the nova 9 but because it's not very sharp at all uh, I just forgot to uh, compare this with the OnePlus Nord 2. Um, when we take a look at this shot, very comparable again. So it looks almost the same sensor is in use there. There's a slight difference in color. It's a bit more warmer, I think, here on the Nord 2 and colder on the Nova 9. Let's take a look at the bricks here at the top. Again, sharpness in the Nord 2 looks, appears to be sharper, but this could be like either, like I said, the lens sharper or heavy sharpening applied here. But also you can see that there is more difference in terms of those little stones here and what color they have than on the OnePlus Nord 2 where you don't see that so much. So that's interesting detail that I noticed. Then here it is brighter as well. Here it's a bit more orangish. Um, and when we take a look at the background here again the Nord 2 is more sharp you can see here already that is heavily sharpening applied and when we take a look at the cars clarity again on the oneplus Nord 2 but you can see already that it's processed it is looks processed and when i look at here at this parking spot and parking lot you see how much there is of processing and sharpening going on on the OnePlus Nord 2. You don't even see that this is like uh, different stones. And on the Nova 9, you can clearly see that even though it's not so sharp as the OnePlus Nord 2. OnePlus Nord 2 looks artificially sharped up. And I really have to say I don't like it. It's just a tad too much on the OnePlus Nord 2. And maybe on the Nova 9, a tad too less sharpening applied i would like to have a little bit more sharper pictures on the nova 9 but how sharp it is how sharp it is how sharp it is is not i think the important bits and pieces of this one i think what is important is both can take good shots both can take good shots when it comes to color the oneplus Nord 2 tends to towards to warmer colors more or less high dynamic range both are very good and when we take a look at night shots now we can see a clear difference. The Nova 9 with its RYYB sensor in normal shot in night mode, very dark here, can basically create from nighttime day with its shot here. Again, it's a bit soft and here it's super dark, but sharper. And when I compare the uh, nighttime mode in the OnePlus Nord 2, which looks very, very good, to the uh, Nova 9. I think the Nova 9 has a bit more contrast added. So I like the OnePlus Nord 2 here, not only because it's sharper, also because it doesn't have so much contrast. It looks a bit more natural. And here it looks like, nah, there is a little, it's a little less sharp, but also contrast added, colors boosted and so on, which, uh, yeah, it's brighter. You can see artifacts here and uh, you don't see that so much here, which is, I think, yeah, clear wind for the Nord 2. Next one is a little bit more light and again with the night mode again you can see the contrasty look here on the Nova 9. When we zoom in you can see heavily processed as well and uh, yeah here you can see a little bit more detail when you compare it with the 
not too. Everything is much, much more smoothed out by the camera software and it's, I think, a bit too much smoothed out. So where the Nova 9 tries to yeah, grab or keep a little bit of texture, even though it is like sometimes a bit weird, here the Nord 2 is just smoothing everything out and um, I like the color a bit more because the Nord 2 looks a bit more natural. Here it's a bit more yellowish because probably of the YY, so the yellow yellow sensor on the Nova 9. So nighttime photography, I really have to give the point to the Nord 2 because the nighttime mode is really doing a good job. Even though if you zoom in then everything is very smoothed out and uh, not the best looking. But the Nova 9 is a bit too yellowish in my um, opinion, uh, even though it does a good job in uh, the normal photo mode already, where you also don't get this artifacts. Just like, let me go to the normal photo mode. Uh, and you can see that if I zoom around, if I go around here, you don't have so much as a little bit of artifacts maybe going on, but not so much of artifacts as in the uh, night time mode when I take a look at here you can see a lot more artifacts going on uh, the Nova 9 then so what do you think about the photos and the videos of the Nova 9 against the OnePlus Nord 2 I think very very comparable the OnePlus Nord 2 sharper when you zoom in also though very heavily processed, over sharpening applied, which doesn't look so natural. The Nova 9 looks more natural in this regards, but is a little bit soft on the main lens. So that means that the OnePlus Nord 2 can zoom in without any issues any two times and you still get a good photo on the Nova 9. Not so much and uh, everything beyond two times zoom in is just simply forget about it. And there's a reason why the OnePlus Nord 2 only has on the zoom slider five times because this is like still bearable on the Nova 9. For some reason, they, they have a 10 times digital zoom, which is like not even bearable. So I would also say on the Nova 9, bearable ten, uh, five times zoom. And when it comes to the ultra wide angle, the OnePlus Nord 2 has heavily processed ultra wide angle as well, punching the colors and um, not as sharp as the Nova 9. Nova 9 is lacking colors, but in general has the better ultra wide angle, I would say, um, when it comes to photos. What do you think about this? They're very, very close together. And uh, there's a little bit of net more natural processing on the Nova 9 and less sharper lens, main lens on the OnePlus Nord 2, more processing and a bit sharper main lens, um, both very comparable, I would say. And it's a matter of taste what you like uh, better here and the nuances that you saw in my photos here, uh, ba basically both on par and there's no clear winner uh, when it comes to photography. What do you think? Write it down in the comment section. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.